Hey guys, I'm over here on the third floor balcony of the big building and um, we got one of our nighttime uh, spotlights out front, it's HID light. There's one on either side of the third floor, on the end of the third floor balcony here. And um, I was just here late last night and I noticed it wasn't on so uh, um, it's kind of pain in the ass even to change a bulb so the first thing I do is test the uh, photoelectric eye here. And I think they say you gotta wait five minutes before I uh, taped it off to simulate darkness and uh, put it on there about a minute ago. So uh, got my meter hooked up here. See the neutral and the, um, and the hot. So actually, uh, or I've put it on the low side of the switch to make sure. So there's incoming voltage. So I know I have line voltage. Now I just have to make sure that this sensor is passing voltage when it's dark. So. Now I just heard it power up, I think. That's weird. Hear something humming in there, but yet it's not showing me any voltage on the wire. That is very strange. Ah, there we go. Didn't have the neutral right. Okay. So the, uh, we know for sure the eye is working. Um, so, I think I just changed the bulbs not too long ago. So, since I hear something coming in here, yeah. don't see any light. Obviously, I gotta take that fixture apart and see what's going on. Got this turkey flipped up so I can work on it. <clears throat> and uh, what I had a problem with on the other one was this capacitor that blew out. So, uh, just for my own reference, it has a diode, so I gotta put it back on the right way. Got a capacitor on the left and a lamp wire on the right. Here we have our capacitor. And, uh, the camera. As usual. Really windy too. Okay, so there's my capacitor. I'm going to discharge it first. Make sure. Okay. Yeah, man. Damn, folks. This sucks. <laughs> I really want to show you this, but... So, take my fuel piece. I'm going to set it to read my birds. And this is a 24 microfarad capacitor at 400 VAC. Shoo. Let's see if we're capacitating. Alright, that capacitor is good. No, that is not the problem this time. Good thing. Easy thing to check first. It's 
also new. I see no reason why it should uh, be giving me trouble. But then again, that looks a little scary. Hmm. So I, I'm not sure of this, but I think I can test it all with continuity. I don't like the looks of that. There you can see it. 250 watt bulb. Alright, let's go try another bulb. Okay, um, looking at the ballast, it tells me to uh, check it by an amp draw. And uh, with an open circuit, no bulb in there. Um, it should pull between 2.6 and 3.6 amps. And uh, so 2.8 sounds good. Uh, so checking everything else, even though I just replaced it a few months ago, should still be good. The bulb is bad. But um, so that's how you would do it the technician way, I suppose, and not just changing parts. We've uh, tested everything. Um, so it's got to be a bad bulb. I'll uh, pop a fresh bulb in there, and I bet you that we'll have light. All right, uh, that's it. It's been fun. Catch you all later.